Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to my launch for the Metallics Challenge. I'm using this stamp set called Mondo Poinsettias by Ellen Hudson. I have a piece of black cardstock in my Misty, you probably can't see it, but I've got this poinsettia up in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to uh, stamp it with some Versamark ink and then I'll sprinkle it with some gold embossing powder and heat it to set it. My gold embossing powder is by Ranger and I love it. It gives a really beautiful shine. It doesn't seem tarnished or bronzy or antique or anything. All right, so I'm gonna need a mask for this large one. So I'm just gonna cut the part that I need to mask and then I'll put it on uh, top of what I've just stamped. And now I'm gonna stamp that smaller poinsettia with some Versamark ink and then use that same gold embossing powder. And now I want to add a couple of leaves. So I need again a mask for the smaller poinsettia. So I'm gonna cut a mask for that. Now I don't need it just yet. I'm gonna stamp the two leaves. There's two leaves in this set. One's large and one's small. So this lower left one is the large one. The upper right one is the small one. And then I'm gonna cover that small poinsettia and stamp the smaller leaf off to the right there. And so it looks like the leaves are behind. Now I am ready to color. So I am using my Derwent Color Soft pencils. These are the colors I'm using for my first flower. And I kind of didn't do a very good job of methodically going through this flower, the first two. So I'm just gonna start with the third here and I'm doing them all the same way. I'm gonna start with my dark red color. This is called Cranberry. And I'm coloring the bottom and then up that middle line and then in these little creases right here. So the kind of the darkest areas where you might see a shadow. Then I'll take my medium color. This is called Rose. And I'm just pulling that Cranberry out a little bit. So I'm just going, kind of extending that out, what I've already colored. And then finally, this last color is called Bright Pink. And I'm just filling in the rest. And you can see that these pencils work really well on dark cardstock and they blend beautifully. Now, my last step to add some details is to take black and go on the bottom and then just up a tiny little bit and into those very inner areas of that crease. So let me show you this uh, once more on this next petal. So again, starting with the cranberry at the bottom and then just pick a side. Uh, don't do both sides, just do one side and go up one side of the middle of the petal. And then just add a little bit of dark to the top up here. And then take the middle color and just kind of go over the edge of the first color and extend it out a little bit into the black. And all, everywhere I put the cranberry, I'm also putting this uh, middle color. And then finally, whatever's left over, I'm just blending in with the lightest. And you can see I kind of work in little circles. And the edge uh, or the tip of my pencil is not sharp. I like it to be a little bit dull just because it blends a little easier. Finally, last step is to take black and color the bottom and then go up just a little bit and then add it anywhere I think there's going to be a dark shadow. And that is it. So I'm gonna do this on every single petal. I'll show you one more. So here's the cranberry coming up the bottom just a little bit. I can see some areas on this petal that kind of curls in a little bit right here and right here. And so I'm gonna color that also with this dark, dark red. And then I'll pick a side and I'm trying to debate, I'm debating here, should I do left or right? It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go down the left side and uh, then I'll take my next color and again, just kind of going over the edge of the first color and coloring out just a little bit more. It really doesn't take much to blend these colors together with these pencils. And then finally, I've got my last lightest color and I'm just gonna uh, finish it off. And I'm really not going over everything, just that, uh, the black area, and then just a little bit over the other color just to blend the two together a little bit more. And then finally the black which adds just that little bit of extra dimension at the bottom because you'll see a little bit of shadow there and then kind of coming up the petal just a little bit now these areas that are folded over with the petals i just colored those with my lightest color the bright pink i'm going to fast forward the rest of this coloring because i'm doing everything just as i've described um, if you don't have these color soft pencils you could use prismacolor pencils uh, these work really well on dark cardstock. I think they're sort of specialized for dark cardstock. Someone actually gave them to me. I have the 72 count set and I really like them. I've used them a number of times. I'll, I'll link to a couple of other cards I use them on. Uh, they're definitely different. Um, they're made by Derwent, which is the same company that makes Inktense pencils. So they're really good high quality pencils. After coloring the flowers, I felt like they needed a little bit more texture. So I'm taking this white color soft pencil 
and I'm just going to kind of draw some veins in the leaf and there's really nothing artistic about this I mean my probably 12 year old could do just as good of a job if not better actually than what I'm doing right here and I'm kind of trying a little bit to follow the shape of the leaves um, it's kind of hard to tell which way it's going because I'm just not a professional so I'm just sort of randomly putting in lines and I feel like even though they're so random and they're um, they're not even even and they're um, some are curled and some are straight I mean I think it's just getting that feel of the texture that this white added and um, I think it just added that just that little something extra that made it look really pretty so I was really happy the way that came out now for the small one I want it to be more of kind of a whitish poinsettia so I'm going to just use two colors brown and cream I'm doing the same technique here so I'm doing the bottom and then up one side and then a little bit um, a little bit more with this brown than I did with the dark red on the other one just because I'm only using two colors so I need a little bit more coverage and then when I take my cream I'm just sort of going over the edge of the brown and extending it out for the rest of the flower and then I also used the black here as well just at the bottom and up a little bit on the side so again going uh, on the bottom and then up that middle line just on one side of it and then adding it kind of in the curls of the of the petal and then taking my cream and I like to work in circles I think it's easier and just with a really soft hand so you really don't have to press very hard to get a nice uh, application onto the cardstock by the way this is Stampin' Up! black cardstock that's what I always use for my black cardstock I'm going to fast forward the rest of this flower coloring because it is all the same I try to keep kind of a process going when I'm doing a flower just because it makes it more manageable if you're taking one petal at a time and you're using the same technique um, then it just seems much more manageable than if you try to make a flower look dimension without really uh, kind of doing the same thing on each petal just like I did with the red poinsettia I'm going to take my white pencil and draw those veins again on the petals and uh, I don't have as many to do on here because these are much smaller and I actually wish I had sharpened my pencil I was getting a little bit lazy so when you do this if you do do this I would sharpen the pencil so you have just a better easier time of drawing these lines okay so for the berries I'm using pea green and yellow green and I wanted a combination of these two colors but the area was so small so what I ended up doing was taking the first pencil and just going over most of the big ones here in fact I think I covered all of them yeah uh, with just a, not all the way around with that color and then I just went over it and completed each one of them with the second one so it, when you look at it it looks really pretty it's got kind of two different tones to it but there's no real set like line between the two colors I'm using these same two green colors for all the leaves I'm taking the yellow green and coloring from the middle halfway out uh, of the petal and then the other half I'm using the pea green and uh, and so I just did that on all of the leaves and here is my completed coloring now I, I accidentally forgot to turn the camera back on so I'm gonna kind of redo what I just did so I wanted this panel to be three by four so here's three inches and I'm making sure that on the left I have some leaves or petals hanging out and on the right I have some petals hanging out so I'm marking my three inch and then three inch on the zero mark of my t-square here and then I will take the t-square and draw a line on those marks and going around the petals and the leaves because I'm going to cut around them so that they hang off this black cardstock so I'll do one side and then I move my ruler to the other side and if you don't have a t-square I think it's a great tool to have uh, to help you draw straight lines so I'm going to go all the way across now I want it to be four inches wide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my zero kind of on the left so that I have you know a leaf hanging off and a petal hanging off here and then here's my four inch mark right inside the leaf so I'm going to draw again my pencil lines as a guide and then I'll take my t-square and I'm going to draw a line down one pencil line uh, on the right side and then the same thing on the left side so this is going to give me a rectangle that's four by three but I have some of my stamps hanging off and so what I'm going to do is take a scissor and I'm going to manually cut around all of these leaves so you could actually do part of it in a trimmer if you want to I just felt like the area was so small that it was probably better that I did it by hand with a scissor although once I got to the end of the third side you'll see here there was some straight areas and so I decided to move that to the trimmer 
so that I can get a nice straight cut. So I have a little wire that goes through uh, the area that cuts, and so I know exactly where my blade is going to be cutting the cardstock. So I'm going all the way up to the leaf, or as close as I can. It's a little hard to see, so I'm kind of being conservative here. And I know there's gonna be some parts that don't cut because I'm being conservative. I don't wanna to get too close and potentially cut my petal or my leaf. So I'm just gonna finish it off with a scissor. And so here is my finished panel. I'm gonna put some scotch foam tape on the back of this. And I wanted to show you, I just got a new roll. This is the gigantic roll. I buy it in bulk at Amazon. Um, and so I, I think it's pretty economical when you do it this way. When you buy the small ones, it's kind of expensive, but I end up using these. Uh, it takes me a while, but I use the whole thing. And I also put a couple of small pieces on those little petals that were sticking out. I pulled the sentiment from the Mint Owl Studio Away in a Manger set, which is the set I used for my Christmas card last year. And uh, I just used my Misty to stamp that with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And then I wanted to add a little bit more metallic. So I'm using my Gonzai Tombi Gold Palette and uh, kind of a brush that's flat. And I'm really working the water in here and it thickens and thickens. And you can kind of test it on your craft mat to see if it's the right consistency. Now I had some water on the barrel of my brush, so I wiped that off first because that always causes big problems for me. Um, and then I just tap it from above and the droplets that I got this time, it's different every time. It's always nerve wracking to do this. The dots that I got were really small. So what I'm gonna take, it, what I'm gonna do is take a smaller brush that has a small handle and I'm gonna tap it in uh, to my palette and then create these dots in gold wherever I want thicker dots. And you can see if I push hard with my brush handle, I'll get a thicker dot. And if I just put a light tap onto my cardstock, it'll be a really small dot. So just help me to kind of add some larger dots there. And that is the finished card. I really like the pencil look on this black cardstock. Uh, something different for the holidays. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.